Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and welcome back to another tactics video on the channel. Not a video that I was expecting to make, but today I'm bringing you some 451 tactics which have been um, requested by quite a few of you on the channel. And of course, on that note, if there is any other formation that I haven't done that you want me to test out and do some tactics on, then of course feel free and just get in the comments below and I will do that. So, as you can see on screen right now, it's the 451. I used it out in my Foot Champs playoffs this week, and I'm going to go through the tactics that I used and tell you the pros and cons of using it, in my opinion. Um, so let's get straight into it and we'll go through it. Overall, I would say that um, it is, you can use this formation, it is viable. It has pros and cons, which I'll go through as we go through the tactics and the instructions, okay, guys? So. Let's start off. So defensive style is balanced, and that is like a lot of different um, formations that we use. And I was thinking about this the other day because the the tactics are often the same. But it's how you use the formation in game that is more um, is more important to me. Yes, you can you can definitely trip yourself up by using the wrong tactics, but the tactics aren't going to make it. It's you knowing how to use a certain formation that's the big deal. So defensive style is balanced because we don't want to pull players out of position. Um, if we are going to pressurise, we can do it ourselves, etc., etc. Uh, defensive width we want as 40. Now the 451 is actually a really wide formation. To be honest, you've got a left winger and a right winger right out on the touchline, and so we just want to try and condense that a little bit. And especially defensively, because as we always say, people are looking to attack through the middle of the pitch and that's where they are most effective. So we want to try and just um, narrow things up a little bit uh, in the defensive third. A uh, defensive depth would just keep at 50, just pretty bog standard. Build up play is balanced. Now the 4-5-1 does give you an awful lot of options. Um, you got two cams and the striker. So you can play quickly through the middle with a little bit of Tiki Taka. Uh, you can also, you could go long if you wanted to with them cams and the striker making runs uh, forward. Um, and also we can go out wide, very much we can go out wide because there is two wingers. Um, so we've got that variation with this formation. So let's not pigeonhole it by using long ball, a fast build up. So just have it on balance and it gives us that variation. Uh, chance creation is a direct passing as it always is. Because when we win that ball, we want those players, especially them midfield players like the cams and the wide players, making them forward runs, uh, which are giving us options and pinning your opponent back. Offensive width, having 45. You could probably go down to about 40. The wide players are very wide, okay? which is obviously a good thing, and we don't want to negate from that, or otherwise, like I would say, go and use a narrow formation, but just bring them in a tad, just a little bit will help, okay? Then it's just a little bit more involved in the game. We don't want, in my opinion anyway, we don't want two players literally on the touchline, out of the game, just in a little bit, you know? Uh, players in the box are having six, you could go seven, you could go five. I don't really believe it's gonna make too much difference. And corners and free kicks I always have on one. So, into the player instructions themselves. Of course, the two centre backs stay back while attacking. The full backs, as always, stay back while attacking. However, they are gonna get involved in the attack massively. And something that I was happy to do or something that I found that I could do um, in this formation was, you see, I've got Cancelo and Hakimi. They are able to drive with the ball into them holes, uh, in the hole between Fred and Son and Fred and Grincher, basically, because the opposition's fullbacks, as an example, are occupied with Grincher and Son, and it would just leave that space uh, for you to explore with the fullbacks. Um, because a lot of the formations that we face don't really play with wingers. You think of a 4 1 2 1 2, um, 4 triple 2 is not really wingers, um, 4 3 2 1. So the two fullbacks are spare. So use them. Don't just get the ball with them and pass it on. Use them. Get forward or trigger runs with the, the fullbacks. Let's get them involved in the attack. Okay. Right. The central midfielder is vital here because 
It's technically our only central midfielder, CDM, whatever you want to call it. He has to stay in the middle of that pitch to be your rock. The minute that he veers off or you go on a mazy dribble with him or something like that and you lose it, you have got this massive hole in the middle of the pitch. And I would say that's the biggest downside to using this formation, okay, is that you can get very exposed in the middle of the pitch if you're not disciplined or you don't really understand what you're doing. The plus side of it, for me, is actually the amount of variation that you have and that it's not used that much, you can catch people by surprise. So thinking of that, it could be a, a second formation that you use or um, if you get on very well with it, start off with it, but it is definitely a viable option. Um, so yeah, the central midfielder have them stay back while attacker on attacking and cover centre so that they're just in front of that, um, the two centre backs just to create a bit of uh, solidarity. Okay, out onto the wingers, which is Son and Grincher. We actually don't touch them because we do want them to come back and um, defend um, and they are going to get involved with the attacks as well. So I've just left them be, to be honest. Then, up to the, the cams. So... <laughs> I've got Diogo Jota and De Bruyne here. So you can see they're on basic defensive support because ultimately when we're back, that will turn into a a more natural 4-5-1, I suppose. Um, Jota and De Bruyne will turn into um, CMs, which is a lot better and a lot more solid. However, when we win the ball, we want them to be ploughing forward. And obviously we've got direct passing turned on, which makes people make the forward runs. But on these two on Jota and De Bruyne, we would have get into the box for crosses, which means that they are gonna be making that extra effort to make forward runs for you, which ultimately means that they're gonna um, give you options. Now, little secret, something that I like with this. When the ball is up to, comes into the striker, so Eusebio, you've gotta think, Garincha and Son are up there as well, which who are probably occupying the left back and the right back, right? That then creates you an overload situation with Eusebio, De Bruyne and Jota, one, two, three, against the two centre-backs of your um, opponent. So you can work that. Get that ball into Eusebio and either lay it left, lay it right, and hopefully you should be able to pierce through them holes between the centre-back and the full-backs with your cams and get some easy chances and some easy goals, to be honest. But that wouldn't happen, in my opinion, if you didn't have getting to the box of crosses on or if you didn't have um, direct passing on. So yeah, little tip there. And in attack, as always, if we only have one striker, I don't touch them. Um, if it's two strikers, all I'll have one come short, one go long. But on this occasion, we've got Eusebio, we just left him untouched. We want him to be our central player um, up front, giving us that option. And uh, yeah, being nice and clinical. So there we go, guys. So all in all, um, a different formation and tactics, but something that I think is definitely viable. So yeah, give it a whirl. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there any other formations or tactics you'd like to see me use? If there is, get in the comments below and let me know. But guys, that is going to be it for today. So please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.